Thank you for taking part in the 2016 House Martin Nest Study. This video tutorial um, will take you through the steps that you um, need to follow um, to use the online House Martin data entry system um, and will tell you how to add your survey site, to add some details about the nests and then to add the information about your regular survey visits over the course of the season. Um, the first step before doing this that you'll need to do is to log in or register and you can do this from the House Martin survey page by clicking on the obvious orange button. This will take you to the House Martin Nest Study system and from there you can click on the login buttons. Um, if you took part in the House Martin uh, Random Square survey in 2015, you can go straight in and log in. If you didn't take part last year, um, you're not uh, registered. You'll need to uh, register by clicking on one of the buttons below here. Um, either uh, this, this button here, if you've never been registered for a BTO survey and don't have a BTO username and password, uh, click here. Um, if you already have a BTO account for a survey such as Bird Track or Garden Bird Watch, uh, you can register here. Um, I'm already registered so I will uh, click on this button here. Now you're on the BTO Online Surveys homepage, you can just scroll down and find the House Martin survey and click on Setup. Once you've done that you'll be registered and you can go to the survey and log in. Now when you click in Log In again you can now input your username and password. OK, the first part of the uh, system that you come to will be your data home page. This is uh, the, the main page for the system um, and you'll see on this page a list of your sites, um, although this will be blank when you first enter the, uh, the system. As you add on your sites, the, they'll be shown here. Um, an important thing to be aware of on your data home page is this green menu bar at the uh, top of the page. The most important options that are available from this green menu bar. The resources button will take you to uh, the House Martin page to view and print out copies of the survey forms and instructions. Um, and the data home button um, from anywhere in the system you'll be able to use this button to return to your data home page at any time you like so it's it's worth being aware of that. There are also a number of other options available from the uh, green menu bar um, and we'll come back to those a bit later at the end of the tutorial. Um, but first of all we'll go on to the most important aspects that you'll need to follow when um, entering your survey data. So we'll start with the first step which will be adding your survey site. And when you do this you'll, you'll come on the data home page there's a button called add a site or add another site if you've already got um, survey sites in place. Clicking on that will take you to a page um, about the site where you can input all your site details. Uh, enter a descriptive name for the site um, based on the location or house name. This is primarily for your reference but try to avoid using non-descriptive titles such as My House. You also need to fill out some basic information about the house um, by answering the questions provided. Um, further information is available on the instructions form. It 
several of the uh, questions are, are also optional um, and you may not know the answer to these so please leave them blank if you don't know the answers. And there is also a box provided for you to add comments should you wish to do so. Once you've answered all the questions just click on continue. This takes you to a screen where you can map the location of the your, your site. Once you uh, can, can easily view your site you can add the boundaries by clicking on the left mouse button and double clicking to complete the site. Once this is done um, just click on submit and your uh, site will be complete. Alternatively instead of using the map clicking tool um, you can create a site from a grid reference. This will give you a warning message if you've already got a site. To do this you need to input a four figure um, Ordnance Survey grid reference which consists of two letters and four numbers. This will create a square around the entire one kilometre square and then you can uh, reduce this shape in size by clicking on the corners and moving them in so that the uh, site covers the desired building. Once this is done um, as for the uh, previous method just simply click on submit. Okay so now your site has been created and will be displayed on your data home page. Um, now you will see buttons and you'll be able to edit the site if you need to do so. Um, but the next step is to view or enter the nests on your building. Um, and you can do this by clicking on the appropriate button. On your first visit there will be no nests on the building. So the first step will be to add a nest. As for the previous screen you'll need to uh, fill in a number of uh, details about the nest. The first thing will be the date that the nest was uh, visited. Then you'll need to add a unique nest number for each nest to enable you to identify the nest during the season while you're doing your surveys. So go through and answer each of the questions in turn. Again if you need to uh, look up further details about the questions you can do so on the survey instructions. Um, the final question will ask you if the nest was used last year so if you don't know just, just put don't know um, and again there's an opportunity to comment. Once you've done all this um, you can continue and as for the site screen um, you'll be taken to a mapping screen to position the nest. Um, this is slightly different from the site screen in that all you'll need to do is to place a single dot on the map um, where the nest is located. Um, you'll have to place it within the site boundary. You won't be able to place it outside the boundaries defined for your site. Um, so if the site boundary is um, not wide enough you'll have to go back to the site screen and edit the boundaries of your site. Once you've put the, uh, the dot on the map to show where your nest is, again click on submit to um, complete the entry of the nest. You can then um, repeat those steps as many times as you need to according to how many nests you've got on your site. Once you've input details of all your nests, you're now ready to begin your survey visits and to input data for your survey visits. There are two ways to do this. Uh, the first way is directly from the nests summary screen. Um, there's a button to enter visits from here. Uh, the second alternative is from the data home page where you'll be able to input um, visits from the buttons on the right of the screen. And this will automatically take you to uh, enter a visit for your first nest if you've got more than one nest. As for the other screens um, there are a, a few options that you need to complete. 
um, and these are either done from pull down boxes or by typing clicking into the box and typing the details in the screen so there are five boxes that you'll need to complete each time you input a visit for each nest um, and then the the failure code is optional and you'll only require that on, on very rare occasions if a nest um, is damaged or fails for some reason but once you normally once you've entered the uh, the five bits of information you can then save the visit and you'll see a message coming up to say that the visit's been saved and the details of the visits will be displayed at the bottom of the screen so if you need to do so you'll be able to edit or delete them by clicking on the appropriate buttons once you've input the data for all the nests make sure that you've saved them and you can then click on data home to get back to your home page there are also a few additional options which are available from the data home screen which you might want to look at and use um, so first of all there's the option to undertake timed counts um, full details about timed counts are in the instructions um, a timed count is, is basically watching a particular nest for 10 minutes to see how many times the adults return during that 10 minute period um, either to build the nest or to bring food back to the young um, and to record this um, you can select the nest from the list pick a date the, the, the visit date the list will give you dates when um, adult you recorded adults building or um, feeding the type of count so this is either nest building or feeding visits um, and again simply a start time and a count which is the number of visits that you observed the adults making during that 10 minute period simply click on save and your visit will be added to the list of timed counts at the bottom of the screen so that's the timed counts um, option other options that you have from the menu bar um, print data will enable you to print a copy of your survey data um, and you can choose which columns you wish to display um, by selecting the appropriate boxes um, and then print the um, report there is also um, a contact option um, which will enable you to contact either the national house martin survey organizer or a local contact a local regional organizer in your area um, and ask some questions about the survey thank you again uh, for taking part in the survey i hope you enjoy the survey if you do have any questions um, please do not hesitate to get in touch with us using the uh, contact buttons